In Malaysia, gold plays a particularly important role and its value has been long recognized. Individuals and families invest in gold, jewelry and investment products in forms ranging from Kijang Mas to gold dinar coins. While the buying and selling of gold takes place not just in traditional shops but also in licensed banks and more recently via derivatives trading platforms. While its price may fluctuate, the underlying confidence that individuals, financial institutions, central banks and even governments have in gold is unlikely to diminish anytime soon. Now, with the development of our first commercial gold refinery, we have the ability to process gold. For this, I would like to recognize Demi Idaman, who have played an important role in the development of this industry in our country. They have been supported most ably in these efforts by the Malaysian Islamic Economic Development Foundation, or YAPIM, who as part of the KL Gold 2014 program that I was proud to launch, are playing a critical role in driving Muslim participation and empowerment in the gold industry. International companies and foreign capital are coming into the country at a pace not seen before, with Saudi Aramco, the world's largest oil company, and HSBC, one of the world's largest banks, just two of the major corporations that announced their intention to invest billions in our country over the past year. And many more multinationals are following suit investing and building up their presence in Malaysia. This is reflective of the confidence the international community has shown in Malaysia over the past year with institutions such as the World Bank, the IMF and many other respected global bodies commending the government's prudent handling of the economy and recognising that its resilience and competitiveness have been built up for the good of the Malaysian people.